In other news tonight, people in the FM area are up in arms after they say a lawn care business stole money from customers. Several people reached out to our whistleblower hotline claiming they paid for snow removal services that they never received. Now the owner of the company is no longer taking calls and appears to have closed up shop. Valley News Team's Reed Gregory tells us more. Shoveling snow in the winter months can be, well, a pain, which is why many here in the Fargo-Moorhead area opt into hiring an outside service like Kiss My Grass, Lawn Care, and Landscaping to help handle the heavy lifting, which is exactly what Rebecca Aubart did back in November. My husband, who's in the National Guard and was about to get deployed for a year, so he kind of gave it to me as a gift. It was supposed to be really helpful, but that quickly became not the case. The Aubart's contract with the company states that they would cover through the first and last snow of the season, and that's something the Aubart family is saying hasn't happened so far. So we do have a video and motion sensor camera at the front of our home, and I only have two documented times that they did come to our house since that first snow in December. Other affected customers have expressed their anger and frustration with the company's actions, and many have taken to social media and Google to share their stories and warn others. One customer stated he was scammed for $1,800, and another customer stating in a review just two weeks ago that his widowed sister hired the company after her husband had passed away, and they have not removed snow during the last two storms and are now no longer responding to phone calls or text messages. Now, the Better Business Bureau states on their website they take reports and complaints like this very seriously, and in most cases advise the victim to take legal action if necessary. However, for Aubart, she just wants answers. Just owning up to the lack of communication, yeah. you know, partial refund for services that weren't done would be welcomed. Um, but I mostly just want to get in contact. Maybe there is a reason. I, I always want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Reporting in Fargo, Reed Gregory, Valley News Live. We tried to reach out to the company several times. They haven't returned any of our messages either. Uh, that story again came to us through our whistleblower hotline. You can call it as well if you need help with an issue in your community. 701-369-3187. Just leave your tip and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it.